So, that was fun, wasn't it? You all kn know from previous lectures that a linear system cannot solve the XL problem and you just made it do it. It's of course possible because a violation of the abstraction relative to what's really going on here. And now you can say, well, does it matter? Isn't this mightily abstract that we have that? Yes, it does. Many deep learning failure modes are failure modes of the abstraction. For example, a small gradient may be exactly zero, and your network will never learn. Also, e to the power of 1000 is infinity. So, if your neural network has, say, an exponential, then all of a sudden you have infinity. So all gradients vanish at that case. In fact, they become undefined. Now, like a lot of you, uh, a lot of functions that we'll be using during the course will use softmax. The softmax of z is e to the z i divided by sum of j is one to k of e to the, the z j. Now, what happens if e is large? Well, it shouldn't produce any problems. And like gradients might become zero or one, there's no reason why anything should go wrong here. But the gradient in practice will be infinity. It will be not a number, sorry. The reason why it will be not a number is because we have infinity divided by infinity plus a couple of sums. It's entirely undefined in that case. It is not undefined mathematically. Mathematically, this has a perfectly well-defined gradient. It's just that in the abstraction that we use, with numbers represented by how many digits we have, it looks like it's infinity. I have seen students spend weeks debugging this very problem. Oh, I'm getting not the numbers. Well, I don't know. Where are they coming from? Not the numbers are impossible because we know that the gradient, when we write it out by hand, is always well defined. Well, it's not in the abstractions that we have. And when you're debugging artificial neural networks, it's often useful to be mindful that the abstraction that we write on paper is not what is actually happening on the machine. Now, let us get back to linear neural networks and do something completely different. What we'll do is we'll now do deep linear artificial neural networks and just see how well that works. We take a 10 layer neural artificial neural network, we we will not make it nonlinear, not like the previous exercise, not on purpose making it nonlinear. We'll, we'll leave it in the domain where the abstraction is good. And we know that it can implement the same function as like the one layer neural network that we used before. Okay, now it's your job to show that it can implement the same function. Please come back in 10 minutes max.